Very, very true. A good ear is the key. That's true. It is very interesting. Some people have a lot of technique, but they don't have a good ear. And some people have a good ear, but they are not technical. But they know what they want to do, so they will achieve that. It's something I learned in Africa. I remember uh, going to Kenya, and I was seeing these artists create music videos that really looked like those film music videos that cost 10 times the price but it was they know what they wanted to see and they just used a bunch of plugging to arrive there and i was like wow and that's that's very interesting how a lot of people believe it's about learning it's about oh i went to this school that school listen Understanding what you do is like learning the alphabet before learning how to speak. Of course, you will understand why you use some letters and you will know how to, to write with the right autograph. But if you don't have a trained ear uh, and you don't understand what you do, or you, or you don't feel what you do, you understand what you do, but you don't feel it, you're going to be like a bunch of these people who are engineers in the studio, and they can do you a good mix, but it's a horrible mix. It doesn't sound good. It's the same as when I was mixing my first album in Paris, and I was like, can you do this, this? And the guy was always telling me no. And when I arrived in New York, the guy was telling me, okay, so what you want? And then... You make it sound great. And, and I was like, wow, it sounds perfect. But look, this is in the red. This is not like this. This is not like that. Like in Paris, they said it was like, fuck the French. I was like, wow. Because in, in the US, even if people understand what they do, they have training, they, they, they learn, they will still cheat. They will still try to, to, to bring emotion to the sound. They will choose emotion over technicality. And this is something that I believe that is for everything. You always have to choose the emotion over the technicality. If you have enough technique and you understand what you do so well, then you can focus on emotion. You focus on delivering the emotion with the sound because you don't care about the technique anymore because it's there. You, you will know when it's too much, you will know when it's not enough because you have the technique already. So now you can focus on using that technique to sound a certain way. A lot of people, they're just technical. All this, like, yeah. It's the same as singers. A lot of, listen, 99% of the singers that I work with that I know sing better than me. Me, listen. I'm not. I'm not a singer. First of all, I'm. I'm. A, I'm a beat maker uh, that raps and sings sometimes. And and without auto tune, I cannot sing like a, 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 a straight note. But I hear good notes. I hear when it sounds bad. Whatever. I can hear it. And my technique has, of course, been way better over the years. But what makes the hit? is the fact that I have emotions, that my songs bring emotion to people and people, those songs are part of their life because of the emotion that is conveyed in the songs. And I know a lot of people, they sing 1000 times better than me and they never had a single song play on the radio or be loved by people. But they have amazing song and voices. They sing like they have a technique. They went to the conservatory. They sing like they sing like computers. Like they like they never they never miss a note. They are like perfect pitch. They have a perfect ear, perfect pitch. You tell them fa, they're gonna be like fa. You tell them do, they go do. Like they really have. They learned it, but they don't have emotion. So they don't have a good song because one love was not created listen when i did one love i never sang before only to tell people stuff but the difference was i had an emotion to share and then 
Yeah, I was like, yeah, put me to the tune, let's go. And I didn't care about what would people say. I was like, when the album was out and everybody was like, yo, it's I mean, before the album came out and everybody was like, wait, you're singing, you're not rapping? I was like, yeah. Wow, like, ain't you scared? I was like, well, listen, maybe they will like it, maybe not. We'll see. Album came out. Why? Because of the songs. The songs, not the technique. And I know some some girls and some guys, like, they sing so well, they end up just being chorists. Why? Some some people are chorus because they're not interested in having a solo career, right? That's of course. But there's a lot of people, they want a solo career, but they end up just being chorus. Why? Because they don't know how to do emotion. They don't they just know how to deliver technique. Or they will come and they will yell the whole time. Or do a lot of vibrato, a lot of show off. Listen, somebody who's listening to a song is not listening to your technique. He's listening to what you're saying if you're talking about somebody that left you and your heart is broken and you're like people are gonna be like but if you say my heart is broken like oh and this is a difference between yeah listen what works and what doesn't 